Hey there, we're going to go ahead and look at 5.5a solving one-step equations. Example A says to move the 12 to the opposite side and do the opposite operation. Okay, so we're going to take the notes it gave us and apply it to number one. So the opposite of plus six is going to be minus six. So what you do to one side, you do to the other. Well, the, we do not have to write the plus zero is equal to three. Um, so you can kind of skip that step altogether and just write the fact that V is equal to three. Now, example B says move 14 to the opposite side using the opposite operation. So again, I want to point out that you're trying to get all the numbers away from X. And so opposite of minus 14 is to plus 14. So here, opposite of minus 17 is going to be plus 17. So what you do to one side of the equal sign, you then do to the other side of the equal sign. So we know that the 17s cancel out and V is equal to, because this line straight down the center is always like equal sign, V is equal to negative 19. Let's go ahead and take a look at example C and example D. Um, example C says you move the six to the opposite side of the equal sign and do the opposite operation. So the opposite, anytime you, you have a number next to a letter, it means multiply. And so instead of multiplying there, you are going to end up dividing because when you do divide, for instance, on num negative 11, or on number 11, you look at negative 9 divided by negative 9. Well, that's 1x. You don't need the value of negative 9x's. You need the value of 1x. So 72 divided by negative 9 is going to be negative 8. And so then when you look at a problem like example D, where this is x divided by 8, the opposite of divide is to multiply. And so um, the way that this would work out is that you would multiply the left side by 10 and the right side by 10 because 10 divided by 10, that's that 1K that you're looking for. You have exactly 1K is equal to 100. Um, the Assignment is going to be um, attached in the comments below if you need that practice.